Hi YouTube, today we're going to be having a look at the Makey Makey. This is a DIY input device where you can make your own controller which connects via USB. So let's open it up and have a look what's inside. Okay, so first of all, we have a red USB cable. Then we have a nice bunch of different colored cables with crocodile clips on the end. Then inside we have a few more wires here. And then lastly, we have a get start guide. Okay, so we'll just put that out of the way for the moment and we'll have a look at the main device in question. Now this is basically a printed circuit board with connectors on, which connects via USB to your computer and it is completely driverless. And there we have it. And what this lets you do is using the crocodile clips connecting to any of these surfaces here, lets you attach that to pretty much anything. And if you touch it, the, electric, the electronic signal will then go through to the computer via USB. So on this we have up, down, left, right, which is the same as what your cursor keys would be on your keyboard. Then we have spacebar, and then what would be a left click on your mouse. And then if we flip the board over on the back, this is where it gets a little bit more technical. Here we can connect up to these here, which then interpret the keyboard key presses, so obviously W, A, S, D, F, G. And then on this side here, we also have mouse inputs. So you've got up, down, left, right. And then you also have left click and right click. On the rear, we have the earth, which what you need to do is obviously to make a complete circuit, you have one from the connector and then it comes back around through whatever you clip it onto back to the earth and that is pretty much it okay folks so that is the makey makey diy usb input kit i'd like to say a big thanks to firebox for sending this out to me to review um, i'll provide a link in the description below to makey makey's website where you can see some video demonstrations of all the different types of things that you can make using this kit if anybody's got any great ideas of something I could try with this, then please let me know in the comments below. And what I'll do is I'll try and endeavor to get a future video done using this device. I'll also include a link in the description below where you can purchase this from Amazon. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.